Okay. Sounds good to me. Uh, English. Yeah. I've played Stanley Parable before. I have, way back in the day. Hello, everyone. I'm Dragoroth, and welcome to the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Now, I've been waiting for this for a while now. I remember when it was first announced, and they were putting out trolling trailers, like teasers for it. And I thought it was the most hilarious thing ever, but it's finally out. And I was like, hell yeah. They actually gave me a discount. Please adjust until the computer is barely visible. Well, it's kind of already there, so. Please enter at the current time. It is 4... Um, 31 in the morning. Yeah. Okay. Accessibility can be accessed from the main menu. Okay. This is creepy. Oh my. Oh yeah. Man, it's so good to be back in this. The end is never, the end is never, the end is loading. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Is it now? Stanley worked for a company in a big building. Okay, maybe I turn the game volume up a little too loud. Where he was employee number 427. Yeah. Employee number 427's job okay. was simple. He yeah. sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what <laughs> buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although mm -hmm. others might have considered it soul-rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when mm -hmm. he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Really now? Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Yeah, I remember a few things from the Stanley Parable. I played it way back in the day. I remember when... That is not the time I input. Thank you very much. I remember a few things. But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial <laughs> outcome fell under his responsibility? Oh, yeah. He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The yep. thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here I can be happy forever. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed. Then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, mm -hmm. someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Yeah. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. And boom. Yep, okay, yeah, I just had to get that ending out of the way. I remember a few of them. Apparently there's new endings and stuff for this game. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. The meeting room. Okay, I'm going to do a... I'll do this in about 20-minute parts, probably. Because, holy crap. Yep. 4B3... Ooh, when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Oh, yes, I will. I will enter the door on my left. Ooh, man. So there's going to be new secrets and stuff out here, which Yet is going to be there nice. there was not a single person here either. 
Feeling a wave of disbelief, <laughs> Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. <laughs> I love that. Let it ball up inside you. Take it out passive aggressively on other coworkers. Resent coworkers for not supporting you more. You have how to deal with a coworker dispute. Oh, it's oh, that's up there. Okay. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he yeah. turned around and got back on track. Yeah, I, I love the broom closet. I really don't remember much. I remember the broom closet. You could go in it. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. Really? No there's, reason to still be here. There's got to be something here. You got to tell me there's something. No, close that door. I want to stay in here. In the broom closet. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. No, it wasn't. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. <laughs> <laughs> doing sweet F.A. That's what I like to do. Are you, are you really still in the broom closet? Yeah. Standing around doing nothing? Yeah. Why? Because Please offer me some explanation here. I'm I'm genuinely confused. Because I want to. Thank you very much. I'll be conversing with the narrator a lot during this one. During this let's play at you least. You realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If yeah. I said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it yeah. didn't occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I don't believe I you. I would have thought to mention it. I don't believe you. I, I I saw it and I wanted to come in here. Maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path. It is. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friends, you'll say, "Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was <laughs> my favorite." <laughs> I hope your friends find this. But <laughs> after I'm done playing this, I should text my friends. Why didn't you get the broom closet? I should do that. I'm gonna do that. Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. You fuck. He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. God. Bad or with drug man. <laughs> also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> oh, here we go. I want to be. Oh God. Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hello? Anyone who happens okay, to be Okay, so I'm dead. The person at this computer is dead. Okay. They have fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. Oh, wow. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Really? Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place. Really? Making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics uh -huh. and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming. So that the irony and insightful <laughs> commentary of this game is not lost on them. Oh, that's great. All right. When you've done that, just step out into the hallway. Okay, I'll... I uh, know. Second player, it's good to have you on board. I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. What if... You too. <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can have the controls to. A fish? Fungus? Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly oh, picky. Shit. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's great. You too! Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. But there's red dingy down here. No, I'll save that for later. I'm gonna listen this time around. I'm actually gonna listen to him. Yeah, the executive bathroom. Oh, it opened. Oh, money in the morning, money in the evening, money for breakfast, money, money crisp. Extreme bathrooms, my favorite. 
Can I get a closer look at that? No? Okay. Awesome. The executive bathroom was actually open this time. I know, I, I think I remember that. Like, it was rare that the executive... Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, shit. Ooh. This is my Staring boss's into office. The manager's office. Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, oh, Stanley wondered in disbelief oh. who orchestrated this. What dark secret uh. was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two, uh -huh. eight, four, five. Four, but of five. course, yet incredibly, by yeah. simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct oh, shit. code by sheer luck. Amazing. Oh, wow. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Hey, this looks really good. I like how they remastered the graphics. It's been a long time since I played the Stanley Parable. Like, I'm talking about, last time I played it was in, like, l like late middle school, man. It's been a long time. I remember when it was just a mod for Half-Life 2, I think it was. And it was, like, there was only, like, four different endings in that. And then the full release came out, and I was like, Descending holy crap. Into and the I got it. Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, uh -huh. to question the nature of his job. Really? Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This hmm. question would not go unanswered for long. Well, dang. Okay. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large Mind door that read facility. Mind Control Facility. We will not escape. I wonder the if that Easter egg is still in here. enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to Man, himself. Man, it looks so good. Did he have the strength to find out? It looks fucking great, dude. Holy shit. It looks so much better than the original. Now the monitors jumped to life. Their Whoa. true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. What's that up there? That one's fucked up. And then it cuts to something normal. Okay. This mind okay. control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Yeah. Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Is there anything on my monitor? 427. Yeah, it is Stanley's office. Now, if I remember correctly, you're supposed to, like, wait. And this will eventually open up, and you go back to the first button and push it. There's no sprint. Huh. Well, I'll do a little cut for when, you know, the magic happens. So... Okay, never mind. <laughs> There's my cut. It was really, really short. Yep, those open back up. Yep. Okay, well, as soon as I was like, I'll do a cut, because I thought it was like a 10-minute wait. Ugh. I wasn't going to let y'all just sit there and wait. There it is! A resolution secret textures. You never go secret. There's no turning back. Don't touch the secrets. Secrets all the way. Secrets mode engaged. Secrets room 2014. Secret of the year every year. Never give up on your secrets. Ooh! <laughs> he couldn't accept it. His own life is someone else's control. <laughs> oh my god. 
It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Oh, Had he shoot. truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad mm -hmm. or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality mm -hmm. of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle uh -huh. the controls once and for all. But what if I don't want to? But I will. I'll turn it off. Get the basic normal ending first for you guys. For anybody who has not seen the Stanley Parable, this game is just ridiculous. And there's no like and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Was it? Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Something just hit me like a ton of bricks. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Check out some of the other games that I've played. I will be playing the crap out of this, so be prepared. Let's Plays are going to be coming out. But, you know, every other day I'm going to have part of this come out alongside with The Walking Dead and Dude Stop. So, I'm going to continue going down this path. So, thank you all so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Check out some other games that I've played. I'll see all of you in the next one. Bye.